pretty bummed out that it started raining. Oh look, the sun is out. Look at it. The sun is out and it's still raining out here. But I had to move the car in the garage because I do have a little mud that I'm gonna be installing today. And let me just go ahead and get to the video on that. What's up everybody, my name is PJ and I do make automotive content on this channel. So if you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might wanna go ahead and do so because I will be dropping a lot of automotive content for the Genesis platform. And here's my Genesis right here. It's a 2014 BK2 3.8 manual. Had to make sure I got the manual because automatics are no fun. Today we're gonna be installing the intake manifold riser from 3.8 Performance. So shout out to 3.8 Performance, Dustin Davis, for sending me out this product. And if you can't hear me, then it's because of the thunder. I'm sure you can hear that. But I'm gonna try to talk a little bit louder. But let's go ahead and unbox this thing. And here's the riser along with a sticker from 3.8 Performance. I will be throwing this on the car very soon. Probably today, well no, not today. Well, probably today, but I have the riser right here and it should have came with some bolts, some longer bolts and yep, here they are. So this is going to make installation pretty easy. Once again, shout out to 3.8 Performance and Dustin Davis for sending me out this product and I'm sure it's going to be a very nice install. So let's go ahead and install the part. For the most part, if you have this car, this is what your engine bay will look like. I do have a couple aftermarket parts such as this engine short ram intake, which I will need to be switching out for a cold air intake soon enough. But I also have the engine leash and enough of that. But I'm gonna leave the mod list in the comment section, well, in the description box below. So you can check that out down there. But first things first, I'm gonna need to get this factory air duct off the car and work on getting the intake off the car. And that's pretty simple. It's nothing but two bolts behind here, one bolt down there holding this bracket on. And the rest should just pop off other than taking these four Allen key bolts off of here and then sliding the intake on off. But let me get started with that and I'll show y'all how to remove the actual intake manifold. So the rain has finally stopped and you can see the sky is pretty cloudy still, but it does look a lot better. And now what I have to do is remove this manifold and it's really nothing but like six, 12 millimeter bolts lined across here. And then a couple of tens and a couple of hoses and stuff that you might have to take off, but I don't know if I'm gonna take everything off cause I can just pick this up and slide it over here and it'll have enough room for me to put the riser right here. I'm about to go ahead and start with the 12 millimeter bolts and then do these tens and see what else I have to undo. I might have to undo this for the little cabin noise thing that I don't even use anymore because I have an aftermarket intake, but that may have to be removed. Now that I have the upper intake removed and all you can see is the lower intake right here. I do have the Grim Speed manifold spacer as you can see. And <laughs> look at this, I need, I'm in dire need of a port and polish job. So if anyone wants to help me out with that, then you can go ahead and do so. But as I remove this, you can see like there is a bunch of oil on here. And so I'm actually gonna have to be installing the oil catch can that I did order. And I'll be doing that in a later video. But like I said previously, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might wanna go ahead and do so because I will be doing all of that on this channel and y'all don't wanna miss what I have in store for it. But as of now, this riser does call for two gaskets as this spacer did. I just never put one on here. But here's my other gasket off of the other motor that I actually blew. It's sitting in my backyard right now. But I went on here, took the gasket off of there. I'm gonna put that on top of the riser and get everything back bolted up. Put all my sensors, hoses, and all that kind of stuff back together. And then go on here with reinstalling the intake and then the car should be ready to run. 
I forgot to tell y'all I have to remove these two studs on the two ends of the manifold but a bit a good way to do that and I'm sure y'all probably know already but is to use two nuts and you just need to put the nut on there the bottom one you can't really see it but then there's this top one and I just use this ratchet wrench right here but I put it in between the two nuts and screw this nut down real tight with my impact and now i should just be able to pull this and yep as you can see well i don't know if you can tell but the stud is moving now and so i just need to do this to get it off of there and i'll be ready to install everything So this is just about gonna wrap up today's video. I'm actually about to go drive the car down the street right quick and I'm not gonna get on it or anything because I'm gonna save that for another video. But if you want the Grim Speed Manifold Spacer, then I think I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for that. I'll give you more information on that soon. But yeah, the car, she looks pretty good. It's running pretty good. Hopefully she's running strong after this install. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a review for y'all in the next video. So if you aren't subscribed already, you might wanna go ahead and do so. Comment down in the section below. Let me know if you've done this mod for yourself on your cars and let me know how you like it. But this is just about gonna wrap up today's video. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching. <music>